So this is my water pick water flosser. I've had it for maybe two years. There's the model number WP four sixty two W maybe? I'm going blind. Or WP four sixty two C. Anyway, um, works real well. I use it once a day. Um, and, you know, for whatever it's worth, I believe it has helped. <laughs> uh, as far as my dental appointments being less annoying. But the battery seems to be getting a little weak. And, I mean, it wasn't terribly expensive, but it wasn't free. And I don't feel like buying another one if I don't have to. So... Let's see if we can figure out how it comes apart and see if there's a battery we might be able to change. Looks like the first thing you do, you pull up on that, and that just pulls down. And we've got four screws. Take those out. One of these days I'm going to stop being cheap and get myself one of those little small battery electric screw guns they, they look like they're a lot of fun the whole mechanism back cover water inlet tube water outlet tube still don't see the battery <laughs> it's a little little piston pump <laughs> Isn't that cute? There's your high and low pressure switch. Whatever that does. Hmm. Interesting. This thing's still pretty heavy. So, judging by the fact that the power port is there, I'm guessing the battery is here. two screws here and through the black are actually holding that piece down. So we'll pop those out. you get those two screws out this top piece pops off and just pry it out it's just held in by some compression clips and it appears that that piece should also pop out because you can move it separate of its attachment. Uh -huh. And now we're into stuff. We got 
got some wires. We got all sorts of things going on here. Just kind of pull and twist and she comes out. And we don't want to lose that. Not much to the on off switch. Or that one. They seem to stay in. I wondered if that was a sealed connection. Not really. all it does is just make the connection between here and here and this is your it makes the connection between here and here and then this moves the volume and this is the release little gasket molded in there kind of neat but there's our battery. So we're going to take a look at that. The plug just popped out, which was nice. It sits in there. We'll pop that out, see if we can figure out what that is. Need a different screwdriver. Thirteen hundred milliamp, two point four volts. Made where you would expect. So these are just a couple of one point two volt cells, I would guess. Yeah. In series, it's kind of glued in a little bit, but it didn't really stick to anything. But uh, nickel metal hydride, and I guess NIMH. So, a couple of solder connections. And that's about it. So I'm gonna go see what I can find as far as this battery. All right, so I've searched around a little bit. It looks like I'll be making this battery pack myself out of a couple of separate cells, but I can get two cells that'll work for about $7. And a new one of these things is close to 70. So before I get rid of this and buy a new one, I'm gonna try to change the battery. And uh, right now though, I'm gonna put it back together so I can use it for the next couple of days while I'm waiting for the batteries to show up. And then when the batteries come in, we'll take her back apart and see if we can make it work. All right, so here we are again, and I've gotten my little 1.2 volt, 1300 milliamp cells, which I believe have to be negative, positive, negative, positive to get my 2.4 volts. And now we've got this pack out and plenty of room for the new ones, assuming I can get them hooked together properly. The key is going to be getting these little buggers off of here. And they look like they are kind of spot welded on there so that's going to be entertaining 
because I'm going to have to solder them on and I'm bad at that just to be brutally honest I am not good at soldering so the first thing I'm going to do since it's time to make a mess and ruin this thing is try to cut those off with a razor blade maybe I can pop them off without ruining them that's what we're going to try to do I had done a little more research and maybe spent the money I may have been able to get some batteries with tabs already on them see how quickly we can bleed significant level of butchery but the battery still had some juice made a little smoke there we go okay now we have some tabs which we should be able to hopefully attach to the new battery pack. Now what I'm going to do is open this up and see how it's attached in the back. Maybe I can scavenge that while we're in here. Wow. It seems to be molded as an individual cell. Aha! Uh -huh. There it is. Pull the little cover off. And sure enough, that is what we have. And these seem to be kind of welded I'm sure the battery technologists in there I did will laugh at me as I sever my wrist trying to save this little strap rather than making my own out of a piece of wire which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing anyway yep So, not much to it, just two cells, but they are definitely positive, negative, positive to negative. So, we're going to take these, wrap them with a little tape to hold them together so we can work on them, and then go from there. So I've made my little jumper wire out of a very small piece of wire. A little bit of flux on there. Waiting for the soldering iron to heat up. Hmm. It's stuck. It's ugly, but stuck. So now... We can attempt the same trick 
with these wires. Thinking one at a time might be easiest. terrible at this I guess that's the key tin everything especially the battery top we will do that first this time And there we have it. see if it works. See if we can get this disaster back together. There it is. So you got to kind of tweak it in that way. She works. So as big of an abortion as that was, trying to solder all that together, you can replace the batteries in one of these water picks. And if you're better at it than I am, it'll come out looking like I didn't do it and probably last longer. But that was about, that was a few dollars, the batteries I've got available on my Amazon page. And, uh, yeah, it's certainly cheaper than a $70 water pick. So, I'm going to finish putting this thing back together. Now that I realize I forgot to put the strap back on the battery, so this has to come out again because I'm an idiot. should keep it a little bit happier. All right, so after we put the battery strap back on, got it all put back together, got all the screws in, get the tank back on it, put the little clip back in place. And we're gonna go plug it in, give it a charge, and see if it lasts any longer than the old ones. Hopefully it does, because I really don't feel like buying a new one. And I kind of like this thing. 
but uh, well whatever anyway so that's what's inside of one of these water pick water flossers it's not terribly hard to change batteries but you, it's not a battery pack you can just buy by itself so if you want to do it you're gonna to have to get a couple of extra cells and solder them together hopefully with more aplomb than I showed anyway talk to y'all later